He is Israel's most famous and colorful master chef. Eyal Shani has a way of making cauliflower and tomatoes sexy and making the studio feel like a living room. Please welcome Eyal to the show. Welcome. Hello. Make yourself <laughs> at home. He's just sitting. La, la, la. Yeah, I'm sitting and joining <laughs> from you and from the view. It's wonderful. It's a nice view. I cannot You're happy ask with for it? more. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say that I have never seen a staff of people more excited about a guest. You are so famous. That means that I'm carrying a kind of promise. I don't know of what, but there is a promise inside myself. Therefore, they are so happy, I think. I think in the end, when you are eating, it will finish with happiness. Of course. And yeah. is this that why is you're the a best chef? Part. I mean, were you someone that always, I'm is it more chef. that you enjoy eating or enjoy cooking? No, 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 no. I'm a chef because I want to enter directly into the depth of your blood. This means I make, I'm making the cauliflower, you are eating it, and then for hours, it's inside your stream. Amazing. So yeah. do you feel like, you know, you have an ability to turn food and this into, into a real art, which, you know, being a chef is, but what, what for it's you is unique a, about you know, food? You know, what's so unique about food? Well, food in a way of like In the way that I'm thinking, yeah. look, I think that there is a creation, or maybe you can call it God, it doesn't matter. And the creation create animals. Animals, that means cauliflower, tomato, you, and me, and a cat. All are the same. Souls, they all have souls. All have souls, all are carrying a kind of knowledge, different knowledge one from each other, but they are all all animals. For me, a cauliflower is an animal like you. You are, for me, not a human being, but a kind of animal. You're saying I'm a vegetable. I'm yeah, an animal! Yeah, yeah. You are like a vegetable, but in a completely <laughs> so different way. So if I were a vegetable, it's, it's another I be? Version. If you were to compare me to a vegetable, what vegetable would I be? It was something that coming very fast out of the ground. Yeah, very fast. Wow, you know, it was a flower, well. a kind of flower that, that, that like in animation <laughs> yeah. is going and flowers are raising up and climbing to the sky. I think that that is you. Like Jack and the Yeah, you are not a vegetable, you're a flower. I'm a flower. Oh. Yeah. But again, flower is carrying a lot of promise to be a vegetable. I have to live up to food. it, I have to yeah. smell good all the time. Yeah, you have to smell good. I have to yeah. smell good. And to be open. So for you, I mean, you've been doing this a long time and you know, being in the States, living in New York, it's like such a huge culture now, celebrity yeah. chefs. But like you were doing it like way back when, before it got blown up. Like how do you feel about how it's all of these shows and cooking on set and in studios, do you feel like it kind of dumbs down the experience of being a chef? Look, there is the crystal that you have to find about what is to be a chef. For me to be a chef is the ability to be concentrate on one thing. I mean, there's a sea behind you. And one drop of the sea is like all the sea. And it's the same with the process of cooking. One piece of a melon or a cucumber is carrying all the creation, but is expressing it in his own kind of experience. And you have, you know, it's like with, with the shellfish. All the shellfish got the taste of the fish, but they carrying a kind of explanation of this taste under terms of sugar. I mean, there's a, a, sweet, a sweetness that translates the taste of the sea into a sweet taste. Mm -hmm. And for me, being a chef is like working in the temple of God. I'm serving the creation. And there's always something that the creatures trying to say about themselves. And I try to find sure, well, what everything it is. is God's creation. Yes. Right? Everything. But it's worked directly with the creation and with the nature. It's really beautiful. I mean, and if you think about it, like how, how you know, you have a philosophy of food. I mean, obviously you're a very spiritual it's guy. It's not a and you philosophy, feel, it's coming like from, food as from a, doing it. But food is a way to connect people, too, more than just being in Israel and every Jew wants to eat. Like it's yeah. a, you know, there's a yeah, deeper you connection. Know, <laughs> yes, you know, there's nothing that coming so deep inside you than food. And um, 
you know, it's a kind, it's a kind of peace. I mean, in a place that there's food, there's no war. Yeah. In the way, in a, a place. Let's make food, not war. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I want to talk about your restaurants yes. now because, you know, you, you were famous for a long time and then yeah. Mise Known is like a reinvention yeah. of, of yeah. Uh, street food in a way that's, you know, introducing your, your special variety. So you're now opening in Melbourne, Australia. Yeah, for me, for me, I just opened in Melbourne, in, uh, in Australia. For me, the Mise Known is like a formula that I eliminate from all my creation. And for me, the Misnon is a kind of a translator. I mean, I'm coming into a city. I look at the eyes of the people, I smell the atmosphere, I'm feeling the vibe, I'm looking at the houses, on the talks of the people, and then I try to translate it into, food, into a fine food that in the end, coming into a pita. And that's giving me a reason to sell it cheap, and to transfer it into the streets. And I need the streets. I need the people that are coming out of the streets. Why? Because they are the best ingredients in food. They got the energy. Wow. You can make a fine food, you know, in, inside a three Michelin star restaurant, but in the end, there's rich people that sit right, in very just quietly. Exactly. You hear the folk and the knives. Yeah, I want there's you to stay. Nothing. We're out of time. I want you to stay. I feel like I'm having dinner with you. Can we continue this <laughs> right, conversation yeah, over can, like uh, a real meal? Continue to uh, I dinner want to eat time food. Will come, I know. need to eat better anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Such you. a pleasure to meet you. you. We'll be right back after the break.